Do not adjust your computer screens. I am not in black and white. I am painted in grayscale. Today I'm going to show you how to get this look, which is a crazy vintage noir film, also very Sin City, the movie Sin City look. Um, it's great for a costume party. If you want to get a good Sin City look, you could slap a red lip on there and then you look exactly like um, a couple of the female characters from Sin City. Super cool. This is like my favorite look that I've painted so far and I kind of wish that I was black and white every day. First things first, I'm applying a base coat of gray paint with a brush, and then I very quickly realized that I was looking very streaky, so I switched to a beauty blender so that I looked very blended out and lovely. I then defined my eyebrows with some black eyeliner as well as some black eyeshadow. Because painting your face one solid color really wipes out any definition that you have, I'm then going to contour my face. And because I'm in gray, I'm going to be using way more contour than I normally would on my normal face. So I'm first going in with a gray eyeshadow from NYX and I'm really carving out my cheekbones and coloring in the areas underneath my chin as well as darkening the edges of my forehead and my temples. I'm also defining the edges of my nose as well as under my lip just to give my face some depth. I'm then going in with a black eyeshadow and really darkening the areas under my cheekbones so that they really pop in a photo as well as on film. First using a white eyeshadow, I'm going over all the areas of my face that I would normally highlight and then I'm going back over everything with my MAC Vanilla pigment to just add a real pretty shimmer to everything. And the point of over contouring with a look like this is as you can see before I contoured I look like a gray blob and afterwards I kind of look like a gray person. And now we're on to the eyes. I'm using that same gray eyeshadow and just kind of sweeping over the lid as well as under the eyes just to give myself a base color. I'm then going in with a black eyeshadow and really carving out the crease. Using the color Gunmetal from the first Naked palette, I'm then patting it gently on my lid as well as blending it out. And it's just adding like a really pretty shimmer color to everything. using my vanilla pigment, and then also highlighting my brow bone. And then to really define my eyes, I'm lining them with black eyeshadow underneath and a liquid liner on top. I used a white eyeliner on my bottom waterline just to really make my eyes look a little bit more open.
throw on a coat of mascara and we're almost good to go. For the lips, I just used a black body paint to just paint my lips black, but this would have been a really great place to throw on a red lip, but I didn't even think about it when I was doing it. I was so black and white. And then I'm throwing on a pair of false lashes, and I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like and comment below. Um, I accidentally deleted the entire end of my video, so I don't have anything funny at the end of this. So, um, thanks. See you guys next time.